You know, Americans are full of ship. I can say that. It's a family show, but you know what I mean. And they are so full of ship when it comes to what they will and what they won't do. And when it comes to COVID, oh, they're the best. Why, if there's a lockdown, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give in. No way. Really? That's right. Bob, you're not gonna make me no way. Okay. People love to do this. They love to. If you want to find yourself, if you want to live off the land, maybe you can go to a state or something where there's no lockdown. I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what a lockdown is. But I hear this post. COVID lunacy. How about the fact that they're giving Trump a, a big deal? They're giving him a, a hard time. Well, Trump was responsible for that for that warp speed. He was responsible. Would you have advised him when the world was scared out of their minds? Would you have advised him? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. You know, you tell him, Trump, tell him no vaccine, no preparation, no war speed, no nothing. We're not going to lift a finger because I know better. I know these vaccines are no good. And I know you'll thank me later on. Are you kidding me? This, this, is, this is where I'm thinking, dear God, I don't understand this. They don't, they don't get politics. Let me talk about this thing because I'm a realist. And that's what people hate about me. I'm a realist. I tell you the truth. I'm keeping it real, as Al Sharpton used to say, whatever the hell that means. So please, by the way, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. And by the way, food prepping, preppers, preparation, emergency food, all of this is making so much sense. And people all over the country, all over the world are planning for an emergency food supply for their family. And you got to take into consideration calories, nutrition, flavor, cooking time, effort, cost, packaging, how easy it is to store. Does this thing, does it taste good? If you've got kids, what are you supposed to do? And I'm telling you, years ago, whenever you mentioned food, you know, prepping, they go, oh, you're some kind of a nut. Oh, no, 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 no. Preparewithlionel.com. Do me a favor. After you're done watching this, go to preparewithlionel.com. Just hit that link and check out what they've done. You can save 200 bucks off a three-month emergency food kit. Look at this. 21 varieties, 25-year shelf life. Look at how much time and effort they have put into this. This is, this is I know people who basically, in some case, broke it open, you know, they're, and are now eating. I'm saying, you know, you should save this. But it's good. It's like, okay, but the idea is that you might want to eat this in the event of an emergency. And I don't want to be a Cassandra. I don't want to be a doomsayer. I don't want to be one of these people. But let me tell you something right now. You know it and I know it. I don't know who's going to do it, whether it's during the Biden administration or the Gavin News administration or somebody down the road. I don't know what it is. But something's going to go wrong and stores are going to close. And when stores close, everybody's going to freak out, panic, and there's something about seeing you running around panicking that these ghouls love. Sorry, you know it's true. It's destabilization. While you can right now, do the right thing and join the millions of people all over the world who recognize that food preparation is important. The best place is with, with my Patriot Supply, but also preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com. You know... When you're me, and you've been a, a realist for most of your life, it's not fun because people hate you. They hate you because what you're saying is true. They hate you because you're absolutely correct. They hate you because you're saying, you know, he's, he does it again. Because you, you know the framework of stuff in terms of politics versus policy. Give an example of something real quick. We were on a cruise years ago. It was on a cruise. It was an Air America cruise. Rachel Maddow was on it. Mark Green. Gary. Uh, Gary. Uh, uh, 
what was his name? Gary, the Gary, the uh, Gary Hart, the senator. He was there, and we're we're on this cruise, and all these liberal types and and um, Rachel Maddow, very nice person, was saying something to the effect of, "You know, the first thing that Biden should do is to declare a declaration for same sex marriage." And they said, "Are you kidding me? Are what?" That's the that's 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 the end of him politically, and I swear to God, uh, Rachel looked at me like what? Politics and policy or polity are two completely different things. Reality, realism says you're not going to do that. They they will destroy you. They will destroy you. So the same thing goes. Look. I know people who were absolutely petrified during COVID and will be again. We talked to somebody fairly recently, somebody pretty, pretty, pretty smart, pretty good, who actually said, so help me God, I'm not, I'm not making this up, who actually said, yeah, I'm thinking about coming to New York, but I'm not because, well, I heard there might be an uptick or there's new cases. It's like PCR tests. You're going, we're doing that? Yes, yes, they're, they're doing that again. So when Trump was the one who actually in, in, um, initiated warp speed, he, he, he was lauded. But yet these other, you know, the, the, and there are people who actually believe in no, they, it's not that they, they don't believe vaccines work. They just will never take a vaccine, which I think is their right. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The, the, the point is, is that you don't understand what people are going to be demanding. And if there's a lockdown, you're going to get stuck in that lockdown. And there's not a damn thing you can do. Nothing. Nothing. There are kids going back to school who have to wear masks and get boosted and this and that, and there's nothing they can do. If they don't want to go to school, don't want to go to college, they don't do it. The Supreme Court has never really overruled Jacobson. This is the case since 1905. That's the way it is. So don't don't lie to me and don't tell me like these big. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell them. You're not gonna tell them anything. You're not in control because let me tell you something. The people that you got to worry about are not the government, but your fellow uh, neighbors who will turn your ass in so fast if they see you out in the backyard near the fire pit with NEM having a beer because people are rats. They're they're, and there were others who never felt. I see him sometimes at the gym. I'm thinking, why are you what you're 25 years old? Why are you wearing this this snout? This N95. I don't know. And they're just waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. And they will take any vaccine protocol, anything you give them, any and all boosters. Oh my god, it I, I'm telling you. And and that is a sizable contingent that any politician must understand and must deal with if he or she wants to win. It's that simple. It's that simple. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, you might not like this, but I don't care because I'm a realist. I know what I'm talking about. Okay? So get ready because if they decide that everything is locked down and nobody is there, nobody would dare ruin their political position, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Nothing. So now we got to start talking and we got to start discussing this and we got, we got to start figuring out what are the parameters and the, and the limitations and the, the, uh, the extent to which we can be limited and shut down by virtue of our concerns for civil liberties and the like. All right. That's it. Please like the video. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams. And don't forget right now, preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com. Do it now. Prepare. Store up. Supply. Because one day, you know it and I know it, stores are going to be closed. I don't know how long or for what reason, but they're going to be closed. And you're going to be thankful. All right, dear friends, have a great and a glorious day. And please comment as you see fit.